that game. This is
And good evening, everybody, along with Ted Woodward, Jeff Tooley with you. It is the final game this season for the Hartford Hawks. Stony Brook won its first ever regular season title. The Seawolves getting prepped for the upcoming America East playoffs. 13-1 in the conference, 25-2 overall. And, uh, well, they're getting top 25 votes. Ted Woodward, they're ranked number eight in the College Insider mid-major poll on the Stony Brook Seawolves. And, boy, they've uh, had a tremendous season. Just incredible season. Execute in every phase of the game, offensively, defensively. A lot of close games. They always seem to come out on top. And... And really just been a, a fabulous run for them all the way through. I'm sure they're very much looking forward to the conference tournament. We'll have a chance to host all the way through and see if they can come up with an America East championship title. You know, they had a franchise best 22 game win streak. It was the longest active win streak in the nation. That ended last time up in overtime with a uh, two point loss against Maine up in Orono. And uh, we'll try to get back in uh, that winning column with tonight's game and then a matchup against Albany before the upcoming Murky East Conference playoffs. Yeah, you know, going up to Maine, a very difficult place to play. Certainly Maine has been playing very well as of late, but, you know, great winning streak all the way through. You know, actually losing that game, I'm sure they'll get themselves refocused here a little bit, try to finish out the regular season and just prepare themselves for the three home games they have a chance to host uh, down in Stony Brook uh, to really give them a, a great chance at the uh, championship. How about their only other loss being back in November, November 17th at 23rd ranked Arkansas. They lost that game, but boy, anytime you're playing Power Five conferences and they've got a win against Pitt, and again, they just continue to, to play really good teams. And Ted, not only playing good teams now, but able to come away with some victories against some Power Five teams. Well, they're very well balanced. Ten players playing more than ten minutes a game. They just do everything well. They are good from the three-point arc. They're good shooting the basketball inside the paint. A very good rebounding team. Good assist turnover. Defensively been solid. Just great execution all the way around, up and down their entire bench. They really got all the pieces to make a deep run here in March. Well, as you take a look at the Seawolves, they've got several weapons, but the one that we will focus on right now, the Seawolves led by Kayla Hillair, who just continues to be uh, a dynamic player, leads the team, averaging close to 14 points per game, and she is 17 points shy of scoring 1,000 in her career. Well, Hilaire is a uh, very, very versatile player for the Seawolves. She can create her own offense from the arc or the interior and also does a great job setting up her teammates. She's also a force on defense, collecting 44 steals. Very disruptive. And for Hartford, Jada Lucas, the pride of New London, at 12 points. Last time out Saturday against Binghamton, she can drive. She can also shoot it. She leads a team with 35 three-pointers. Well, she is the go-to scorer, has become that for this young Hawks team. Seven straight double-figure games. Leads them in scoring and also in steals. Certainly going to be need to be big here tonight for the Hawks to have a chance to get the W. All right, see we'll win the tap, and away we go from West Hartford. Good to have you with us for Hartford and Stony Brook, second of two meetings between these two teams this season. Here's Hiller with the basketball as we take a look at the starting five for Stony Brook, who come in again, 25-2, and 13-1 a league play, and it's the Wolves that score first as they get the baskets and uh, getting that point. Anastasia Warren. And uh, starting five for the Hawks, McLemore, Lucas, Dothard, Wade, and Smith. As you see, Dothard missed the three, and the rebound tracked down by Stony Brook. There's Hiller, is going to try a long-range jumper. Can't get the shot to go, but the Wolves keep the offensive rebound alive. Seawolves getting top 25 votes, and right now ranked number eight in the mid-major College Insider poll. There's a missed attempt by the Wolves, and Hartford pulls down the rebound. McLemore now for Dothard. Drives along the baseline, feeds it to the cutter, and dashing in for the easy baskets here, Smith. Well, really nice job by Dothard there. Good patience in transition, was able to take that baseline, but come to a jump stop and find your teammate cutting to the basket for an easy two. Crowd shutting defense as Heller has it. Goes at right side, three-pointer off the side of the rim, no good by Warren. Offensive rebound, and Stony Brook has it. Well, Hartford's going to really have to do a good job closing off some of those defensive possessions. Cannot give Stony Brook too many extra possessions. Too good of a team on the offensive end. They're going to make you pay if you give them the ball. Wolves will throw it away, and on the 
turnover. Hartfield get it back. Yeah, they've already grabbed some rebounds in there. Number one in the conference, averaging 38 rebounds per game. That is top of the mountain in league games. There's Dothard. Feeds it to Wade. Off to Lucas. Team's leading scorer pulls up from long range and hits. That's her 36th three of the season. Shayna Lucas and Hartford enjoys its first lead at 5-2. Yeah, great sign for Hartford being able to hit that three-point shot. They're going to have to get out there and make some of those here tonight. And he's eyes with a basketball. Off to Hillier. Hillier now for Warren. And she gets called for steps. Well, it's actually going to be an offensive foul. Block called on Cheyenne Clark. So Clark with a foul, the senior from New Jersey. They'll give it back to Hartford, who looks to build in a three-point edge. There's McLemore. Gives it to Wade. Off to Lucas. Going to spot it from long range again and drain it. Back-to-back -back threes for Jita Lucas. She's what? well on uh, way to her season high. Yeah, and as we talked about in the open, she has become the go-to player on the offensive end for this young Hartford team. Great to see her starting out with confidence to be able to step up and make threes. Big for Hartford. They have to be able to put points on the board against this explosive Stony Brook Seawolf squad. She's already got six points. She had 12 last time out Saturday against Binghamton. She averages just over 12 a game, and Stony Brook with the basketball is in his eyes. Will inbound the junior from Pittsburgh. Hartford in the home whites, and Stony Brook in the road reds. Inbound and a kickball at remain Hartford basketball. These two teams met earlier this season. And it was Stony Brook coming away with a 66-55 win in Long Island. Hilaire with the basketball, cause of the set play for Caroline McCombs' team. She's in her sixth season coaching the Seawolves. Into his eyes, pulls up for a long two. Can't get the shot to go with the offensive rebound. For Stony Brook. And now Hilaire steps in with three, no good. And the rebound is brought in by Sierra Smith. And Jordan McLemore for Dothard. A three is good. Hartford hits its third three of the game. And that will force Stony Brook into a timeout. Morgan Valley leading the chance on the sideline. 6.41 to go here in the first. Hartford 11, Stony Brook 2. We're back after this on ESPN.
Merkey's basketball brought to you by Hercules Tires. Right in our strength, visit HerculesTires.com. Jeff Dooley, Ted Woodward, what a start for the Hawks, who make four of five from the field, three of four from three-point land, and lead it 11-2, forcing Stony Brook Ted into an early timeout. Absolutely. They have done a nice job on the defensive end, have forced two turnovers, and offensively, great to see Hartford being able to have that success. They have struggled some on the offensive end throughout the course of the year, been a little bit streaky, but off to a great start here, especially from three-point range. Good, solid balance. I'm sure Coach Valley is extremely happy with this uh, first quarter start for Hartford. Carolyn McCombs makes a personnel change. Mackenzie Boucher comes in. They feed her down the post, but she couldn't get the shot to go. Hartford clears the rebound. There's Jada Lucas as the Hawks look at builds on a nine-point lead. There's Lucas. Drives in. Pulls up in traffic. Can't get the shot to go. And Stony Brook able to secure the board. Hillier with the basketball. Gives it right side to Zyes, tries the three and gets it to go. So Haley Zyes with a three, her 31st of the season to make it 11-5. Yeah, nice transition there for Stony Brook. Pushed it down, everyone spotted up, got to their areas, able to step up and knock down the shot. Carmen Villalobos has checked into the game for Hartford. There's Lucas driving in, tried to get it down to the post to Sierra Smith and was loose. A shot that misses, Smith has the rebound but has it taken away. And now it's loose on the floor, stolen away by McLemore, but stolen right back by Hilaire. Hilaire has Lucas all over. Gives it now to Zeiss. Hilaire with the basketball. And a steal as Hartford jumps the passing lane. Carmen Villalobos making it happen. Right side three from Dothard, a little bit too strong, and rebound to Hilaire. Bombs away for Hartford so far. Hilaire tried to get it to Boucher, but the pass a little bit too quick. We'll go out of bounds along the baseline, and Hartford will take over on the turnover. Yeah, Hartford, nice job. Both defensive possessions. Two possessions ago were able to jump a ball screen, both their guards trapping, Lutus, Lucas and McLemore, Villalobos getting into the passing lane, forcing a turnover, and then this past time getting back in transition defense. Tremendous job forcing another turnover. Stony Brook starting out the game here, four turnovers. And turnover back to the other side as Seawolves have it. Warren's going to pull up just outside of the free throw line, can't get the shot to go. Hartford will take over on O. Stony Brook two for nine from the field. Hartford four of eight now. And there's McLemore to the basketball. Villalobos, a three. Oh, how about that? Popped up and then falls through the orange circle for a triple. Yeah, nice execution there. Guard came across the top ball screens. Villalobos popped back out, created space. Able to step up and knock down the 4-3 for Hartford here in the first quarter. Hawks four of six from long range. Via Lobos connecting on her 34th of the campaign. And on the left side three, a little bit too strong as Stony Brook tries to match Hartford. Hawks have a hand of the rebound. Via Lobos takes it away. Took it out of the hands of Mackenzie Boucher. It'll be hard for basketball. Boy, you got to love the start if you're a Hawks fan here today. Absolutely. They are beating Stony Brook to all the loose balls. They're just playing with better execution, more energy right now on their toes. Stony Brook going to need to string and get together a couple of defensive stops, see if they can make a little push here, get themselves going on offense. McLemore with the basketball right in front of the opposing bench. Gets it to Lucas. And off to Primo. Up top, Villalobos, a three is good. And then she hits the deck, no foul call. Wow, Carmen Villalobos getting into a rhythm. Yeah, these threes for Hartford, this is incredible. They're just raining right now. And it's an area where they haven't had a, a really high percentage throughout their team for the course of the year, have made them in pockets. but. Great to see them making them consistently here to start this game. Well, down the other side, Zeiss, Haley Zeiss hits the three and makes it 17-8. That's her second long-range jumper of the game. Hawks have it, Villalobos. Gets it to McLemore. Jordan, now for Lucas. 
Back to McLemore, drives in deep, all the way to the rim, puts it up as the shot blocks, goes out of bounds off of Stony Brook. Yeah, good it will stay uh, Hartford ball. Good defense by Stony Brook, good rotation there. McLemore thought she had an opportunity to get to the basket, but Stony Brook's rotation came across, able to block the shot out of bounds. As Villalobos gets the feed and drives in, goes up strong, can't get the shot to go, oh boy. And Stony Brook pulls down the rebound. Warren, right side, Johnson a three, side of the rim no good, offensive rebound is grabbed by Stony Brook. Zeiss has it. That's it off to Warren. Over to Gucci Bavanche, and then an offensive foul called as Villalobos gets knocked over and takes the charge, and Hartford gets it back on the turnover. Villalobos, really nice job there, anticipated the ball handler going to her right, was able to get her feet set and draw another foul offensive against Stony Brook, forcing another turnover. McLemore with the basketball again. Stony Brook had a 22-game win streak, and last time out they were defeated by Maine. Trying to get right before the upcoming Merrickies playoffs. They already won the regular season title. There's Primo. Feeds it inside to Wade. Wade goes up, has the ball blocked out of bounds. It'll stay hard for basketball. Inbounds to Villalobos. Four in the shot clock. Here's Primo. Try to get to Villalobos, and it goes into the hands of Zeiss, and she gets fouled by the mid-floor line. Yeah, just a short shot clock there. Hartford not able to get clean execution and get that shot off, and Stony Brook, nice job finishing out that clock on the defensive end. Stony Brook with the basketball, and again, this team can score in bunches. Not off to the start that Coach McCombs wanted here tonight, down 17 to eight, well, just under two minutes to play here in the first quarter. But certainly a lot of basketball left, and be a whistle, and Stony Brook will have, well, 26 in the shot clock. Your yeah, thoughts, Ted, on the start tonight? Yeah, just Hartford's doing a really nice job getting back on defense. Stony Brook has always looked to try to take a good, quick shot on the offensive end, and. They just haven't had clean opportunities as much as they normally do, pushing the ball up the court. Hartford's done a good job getting back. They've closed off some rebounds, and certainly on the offensive end, they've been able to score. Against a team like Stony Brook, you have to be able to put points up. You know they're going to score throughout the course of the game. So far, Hartford's been able to do that here this evening. Haley Zeiss will inbound, gets it to Anastasia Warren. Warren off to Johnson. Johnson drives in, can't get the shot to go. Rebound pulled in by Kayla Dothard. And here come the Hawks on the attack. There's Wade, back to McLemore. McLemore drives in, takes another way to the rim, loses the handle, and is stolen away by Stony Brook. Terrific stop by the Seawolves. Block that shot and take it away. There's Warren. Branche, the top of the key, will send one in. And she hits from long range her first field goal of the game to make it a six-point game. Well, so many weapons for Stony Brook. A number of players can shoot the basketball, score inside, great depth. You see different players being able to step up right now and make a few shots. Oksana, Branche getting that three to make it a couple of possession game. The Montreal native came off the bench. Poked out of bounds, it'll stay hard for basketball. Jordan McLemore inbounds with 60 seconds to play here in the quarter. There's Dothard now for Lucas. Lucas tries to go around the defender. Off to McLemore, eight to go in the shot clock. Back to Lucas. Lucas, going to give it a weight. He's going to force one up, and it's an air ball. Well, both the guards that time for Hartford, they thought they had mismatch opportunities, able to drive to the basket. They've been calling their own number. Not able to get past the defense that time. Stony Brook, very good job of moving their feet, forcing a deep shot clock shot. And uh, nice defensive possession all the way through the entire clock for Stony Brook, regaining possession of the basketball. Wolves trying to build on a 6-0 run. They hit a couple of threes. 
Make it a 9-0 run. There's a three again for Gucci Pavance, her second three. And it's now a three-point game just like that. Hartford can have the basketball, you would think, to finish the half. McLemore has it, gives it a wade. Now to Lucas with 10 to go. Lucas pulls up for the free throw line, rolls around, hit every bit of the cylinder, didn't go in. Stony Brook pulls down the rebound with three seconds to go. A heave at midcourt to come up short. And Hartford will take a three-point lead into the second quarter. Ten minutes in the books. It is Hartford 17 and Stony Brook 14. You're on ESPN. Jeff Dooley, Ted Woodward with 10 minutes gone by and Hartford surviving a 9-0 run is still lead Ted by three as we open the second quarter. Yeah, three-point shootout right now. Both teams shooting very high from three-point range. Stony Brook four for seven. Hartford five for eight. Been very nice to see for the Hawks having good balance out there on the arc and Stony Brook being able to step back and answer. So see who's able to get a run here going in the beginning of the second quarter. for the basketball. And there's Lucas outside of the arc. Jada with six points in the first quarter. 13 to go in the shot clock. Gets it to McLemore. Now Villalobos. Back to Lucas. Shot clock inside five. Villalobos tries a three. A little bit too strong. And the rebound tipped out of bounds. It Went off of Stony Brook. Stony Brook got to the rebound, just couldn't bring it in cleanly, and Hartford's going to get the basketball. Yes, Stony Brook's guards are really moving their feet on the defensive end. Hartford is trying to see if they can get some dribble penetration, but Stony Brook just keeps moving their feet, not giving Hartford any angles. Their defense is really cranked up here to start the second quarter. Gucci Provence has really made a difference since coming in. She steals the inbound pass, and then gets fouled and uh, the Seawolves will get the basketball now with a minute gone by here in the second quarter. Defense, 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 defense. 
Driving in is Hilaire all the way to the rim and scores. Boy, Hilaire, very aggressive on that play, turning the corner, using her strength all the way to the basket, finishing in traffic. Tremendous job by her. She's really starting to become the catalyst on both ends, but moving her feet, not allowing McLemore to be able to get to the basket, and certainly on offense that time, making a big play. Lobos try to get it inside to Sierra Smith, and she gets bumped from behind and fouled. And Hartford will have the basketball. Lucas with it now. One point game, Hartford still in front. And there's Smith backing away in, elevates, but wave off the basket. You know, it didn't go in, she'll be called for traveling. Well, good screen by Smith there that time. Hartford's been trying to set good screens on the perimeter, see if they can force the switch. That time they forced it. Lucas saw it, able to go to Sierra inside, but not able to come up with a bucket. Defense moved their feet, able to draw offensive foul. Hartford led by as many as 12 in the first half. It's now a one-point game, and Stonenberg looking to take its first lead since 2-0. Driving in is Hilaire, and she gets fouled as she attacks the rim. Yeah, same play as last time. Dribble weave on the perimeter. Hilaire turning the corner, going to her left. As Soon as she got to that free throw line area, accelerated to the basket. That time not able to come up with the layup, but able to draw the contact and get to the free throw line. A couple of games ago, Hartford only had six players dressed. They have Got seven in the game tonight. But again, not a lot of numbers. And certainly when you're playing a team that is ranked in the top 25 and mid-major polls, it's a huge challenge as Kayla Hilaire hits the free throw, the 74% free throw shooter. And a chance to put her team up. Yeah, and this is why Hartford has to keep scoring. Stony Brook has too many weapons. They're going to score throughout the night. Hartford, after hitting that 17 point mark, has kind of plateaued here a little bit. See if they can get a couple of good offensive possessions and get the ball in the basket. Yeah, gigantic run, really, for the Seawolves as Hartford finally gets the feed inside. Rolling in and scoring is Zaria Wade. Yeah, nice job there. Good execution all around. Ball moves side to side. Good solid screen and roll. And Hartford able to come up with a basket. And the Hawks regain the advantage. Now stop the bleeding. Down the other side, there's an 11-0 run. And all was said and done for Stony Brook to take the lead. And there's McLemore with the basketball. Cross-court pass to Lucas, a three. Rims out, and the rebound taken in by Joanne Cox of Stony Brook. She has it out of Hilaire. Loses the handle, she tried to take it to the basket. It goes out of bounds, and on the turnover, Hartford takes over. And Hartford, good job getting back on defense. That no-look pass that time, I think she tricked her teammate as well. Wasn't quite ready for that pass, and Hartford back to the offensive end, see if they can force another mismatch opportunity. They're working to try to see if they have some of those inside or on the perimeter. Wade's been doing a nice job inside. Again, posting up deep, getting the ball, and making the play. Yeah, it's her second consecutive field goal. And she makes it 21-18. She's got four tonight. You know, all you can ask is you stay with them, right? As long as possible. Well, you're going to have to keep scoring because they're going to keep scoring all night. Stony Brook has a lot of players that can score. So Harford's done a very good job right now, not allowing a long run by Stony Brook after that initial one. We're able to kind of answer. They're going to need to make sure they continue to be aggressive on the offensive end and see if they can make some plays. After the Johnny Cox field goal, Hartford comes back with a three of its own, and Hartford just continues to hit shots from long range. That's Hartford's sixth three of the half. Yeah, playing with a lot of confidence. They just are very aggressive out there, certainly not on their heels, and looking to make offensive plays and able to come up with some of those baskets. That was Jordan McLemore's... 16-3 the season, now a steal by McLemore. Here's McLemore, leaves it for the trailer. Lucas who puts it up in, and the foul! And a chance at a three-point play for New London's Jada Lucas. Yeah, really nice fast break. McLemore dribbled it as far as she could. All the players running in the proper lanes, able to make that pass at the last minute for the basket, and getting herself to the free throw line, Jada Lucas. Jada Lucas goes to the free throw line. And makes the first and converts on the three-point play, the 73% free throw shooter. Has put Hartford up by six. And 
Now Stony Brook on the offensive attack. Here's Warren. Left side Johnson, a three. That'll rim out, but the offensive rebound kept alive by Clark, but has it taken away by Lucas. Here's Jada Lucas into the front court. Thought about streaking, but ended up to back it out and gives it a Villalobos. I think that's a good decision right there. Yeah, absolutely. Didn't have the play, yep. thought she did, but able to back it back out. Now Hartford maintaining possession. Nothing sloppy as far as their ball handling and see if they can get themselves a good, solid shot off here. Now Lucas matched up against Warren. Goes by Warren, gets tripped up, falls down, and gets fouled. Really nice execution by Hartford throughout that position. Didn't have the fast break, pulled it back out, ran their offense, shot clock was running down. Their playmaker trying to take the ball to the basket, able to draw the contact. Tremendous job by the Hawks. So Jada Lucas. Uh, rather, uh, Jordan McLemore inbounds. They work it down to the low post. Uh, Sierra Smith is all poked away loose in the floor. Villalobos dives for it. It'll be a jump ball. It will stay with Hartford. That's just extra effort right there. Sierra Smith didn't not able to catch the ball, but able to dive on the floor for it. And then immediately, Villalobos on that loose ball, able to go back and get it. So McLemore will inbound for Hartford. 15 seconds of the shot clock. Works it inside of Villalobos. Backing her way in. Leaves it for Smith. Ducks the shoulder, elevates and scores. Nice move by Sierra Smith as she rolls to the basket and gets the layup. Yeah, they're playing inside and out right now. They're getting scoring out of the post, scoring from the three-point arc. Really nice job by Hartford. Bouncing back after that big Stony Brook run. Answering and maintaining. Nice cushion on the lead. Now a nine-point lead for the Hawks. Crowd shotting defense. Working inside of Boucher. Loses the handle on the baseline. It'll stay Stony Brook basketball. The shot clock at nine. There's Warren. Those in the traffic is ripped off. Villalobos tips it to her teammate Smith. And in the front court comes Jordan McLemore. There's McLemore outside the arc. Gives it to Lucas, who steps into a three and gets it a go. Jada Lucas hits Hartford's seventh three of the half. And the Hawks lead it by 12. Now that equals the largest lead today. Yeah, their execution is just crisp. They know where they're coming off their screens. They're ready on the catch. The passes are right there. Playing a nice job on the offensive end throughout the evening so far, Hartford Hawks. There's Zeiss with the basketball, drives in, pulls up for the free throw line and scores. Haley Zeiss with a much needed hoop for Stony Brook. Hawks with it in the front court. Here's Jada Lucas. How about Hartford? 7 of 12 from downtown. Oh boy. There and pass picked off easily by Stony Brook. There they come in transition. Here's Warren's going to drive in and get fouled in the foul called against Hartford. Yeah, unfortunate there. Hartford's been doing a nice job taking care of the basketball. Cannot afford to give Stony Brook those extra possessions, even turnovers, off rebounds. Ten point lead for the Hawks. Inside four minutes to play here in the second quarter. We'll be back right after this on ESPN.
Hartford Hawks 7 of 12 from long range and you take a look at a nice pass from McLemore and Jada Lucas knocking down the three. Ted that's her third three this half. She's 3 of 4 from long range and leading Hartford with 12 points. Well you could just see the timing on that. Jada was cutting off a down screen. McLemore saw her coming out to the corner. Just really solid execution. The pass was right on the money. Jada had her feet set, balance, good timing, good rhythm, all worked together. Nice assisted basket. One of the reasons the Hawks are shooting the ball very well, they're all taking good shots, they're all in rhythm, just in a nice, uh, a nice flow right now. Stony Brook trying to get back to single digits. We'll get the ball on the inbound. We we'll go inside four minutes to play here in the half. Zeiss gets it now for Warren, who pulls up in traffic, can't get the shot to go, but the offensive rebound brought in by Shoot. Boucher should lose the handle out of bounds. It'll stay Seawolves basketball. Yeah, and Hartford's going to really have to focus on closing off these rebounds. Cannot give Stony Brook the extra possessions. An awfully good rebounding team. You don't want to have them get back on the offensive end and other opportunities to score. Joining us late, Hartford ran off 11 of the first 13 points for Stony Brook in a timeout. Stony Brook then built an 11-0 run to take the lead, but Hartford able to build a run of its own to get the lead back to double digits. A drive by Stony Brook and a foul call, and it's another one against the Hawks. Would be the fourth whistle against Hartford. Yeah, when Stony Brook turns the corner, they're really able to get to the basket, draw some fouls. Guards are very good, able to shoot the basketball off pull-ups and three. Gives them some space to get inside there. Victoria Johnson goes to the charity strike. And she's a 78% free throw shooter and makes the first. Stony Brook three for three from the line as a team. They're middle of the pack in free throw shooting 71% in conference games. Johnson makes both and makes it 33-24. There's Jada Lucas with the basketball. Gets it off to Primo. Primo Villalobos all alone inside, drives in and scores, and the foul, wow. Terrific recognition as Villalobos was found underneath, gets the layup to go, initiates the contact, and that was a chance to put in a point at the free throw line. Well, that side ball screen, that's the second time that's happened. Stony Brook is jumping out hard to try to stop the ball handler. The screener has rolled a couple of times. Last time it was Wade, this time Villalobos able to get that pass and the finish. Lobos at the line. She nails the free throw as well. 35-24 Hawks with just about three minutes to play here in the second quarter. There's Warren off to Zeiss. Back to Warren. She gets called for steps. Traveling violation will be the 12th turnover against Stony Brook. And Ted, that's really hurt the Seawolves team here on the road tonight. Yeah, very sloppy on the offensive end. Turning the ball over, throwing it away, some deflections, walks, offensive fouls in a whole variety of ways. But credit Hartford's defense. They have been executing Coach Valley's game plan, knowing exactly where they want to force the ball handler and forcing a lot of those turnovers. There's Cheetah Lucas. Gets it off to Dothard. Not a primo. Villalobos, a three, it's good! Wow, Carmen Villalobos nails a triple. Hartford is eight for 13 from three-point land, and the lead, 38-24, largest of the game for the Hawks. Yeah, once again, stepping out with a lot of confidence, knowing exactly what they want to do, and in rhythm, good solid pass, good finish. 14-point advantage for the home team. Stony Brook works it inside, try to get it to Cox, and she kind of gets tripped up on the play, falls down. No foul call that was Keena Smith, I should say, and Hartford gets it back on yet another turnover. And really, Hartford is locked up here, kept Stony Brook in the 20s. They had spurted up to about 18 points, and the last six or seven minutes, their defense is really locked down, not giving Stony Brook anything easy at all. Hartford by 14. And just continue to shoot lights out. Dothard to the basketball to Villalobos. Left side, Primo. Off to Wade. Gives it to Dothard. Loses the handle, poked away. Hartford doesn't get a shot this time as Stony Brook comes away with a steal. There's Warren. Now for Zeiss. Zeiss works it to Smith. Can't get the short jumper to go. Loose to the rebound. Diving after it, it's Wade. Whistle and a foul against the Seawolves. Yeah, really nice hustle by Wade right there that time and able to draw that contact, I believe. 
going to the line here. I think they're in the bonus, so good hustle pays off to be able to get to the free throw stripe. So sent to the line, it's Zarye Wade, the sophomore from Syracuse. She makes her first. 59% free throw shooter. Well, it's just been one of those games for the Hawks. I mean, everything has just gone right. Hartford shooting 58% from the floor, and how about a 59% free throw shooter? Wade makes both. The Hawks are perfect from the strike today, and they lead it now 40-24 with uh, just under two minutes to play. Well, they're playing with confidence. They are playing together. They're patient. The ball's going side to side. They're taking good shots. Very rarely have they been forced into late shot clocks. And they're really getting good solid balance from their bench, their starters, everybody out there playing a good game together tonight. Victoria Johnson says finally the Seawolves get a break as she gets the shot to fall through and gets the foul as well and a chance at a three-point play. Yeah, Stony Brook continuing to stay aggressive and seeing if they can get on the interior. Their guards able to drive, make some pull-ups, and once again, getting back to the free throw line as they're able to drive from that free throw area. And she does convert on the three-point play to make it 40-27. 1.44 to play here in the first half. And there's Primo with the basketball. Gets it to Lucas. Lucas drives in all the way to the rim, puts it up, and gets fouled. Well, right there, you saw Lucas, saw she had a mismatch. And this is one of the things that Lucas and McLemore are looking for. When they have a mismatch out there, whether it's off a ball screen, transition situation, or just not matched up, they are looking immediately to take that ball to the basket. And done a nice job with it. That time, saw she had the opportunity, able to drive it in there. So Lucas, a very good free throw shooter, goes to the line, and she misses the front end. Broadcast jinx never fails, does it? <laughs> no, great job, Duels. Yeah, really. Appreciate Just that. Just blame me. 73% <laughs> from the line is Lucas. So try to make the adjustment here. And she does. 41-27. What do you make of this first half? Hey, this has just been a tremendous job by Hartford in all phases. Defensively, they've locked down, haven't given Stony Brook anything easy, have forced turnovers, have made shots on the offensive end, good solid balance, but got to keep it going. Stony Brook has won as many games they have this year, won the American East regular season for a reason. They are consistent. They have been consistent start to finish. They usually don't go through droughts. They're going to continue to make a run at you. Hartford's got to keep scoring, keep playing solid defense. Gucci Provence gets the field goal down the other side. Hartford has it via Lobos. The roller and uh, the floater in traffic can't get it to go. Stony Brook the rebound. Under a minute to play here in the second quarter. And Warren drives in and gets the shot to go. Yeah, and this is where Hartford needs to have good offensive possessions. That last one, kind of a fourth shot, kind of gave Stony Brook a little bit of secondary transition. Stony Brook able to find the seam and get the easy basket. There's Jada Lucas with 37 seconds to go here in the half. It was at Villalobos for a long three, just kind of grazes the rim. Primo, the offensive rebound, but she travels to the basketball. It'll be a turnover, Hartford's 10th. And Stony Brook can basically, if they choose, finish the half with the basketball, 30 seconds to go. Yeah, now you just kind of see a couple of young players, freshmen in there right now. Villalobos, a little bit off balance last shot that time, a really deep three. Primo getting the basketball and traveling. So this is where their maturity throughout the course of the year, the things they've done growing as a team, kind of have to kind of kick in, continue to keep their poise and calm, continue to execute. Right now, need to have a great defensive stop here to end the half. Anastasia Warren with the basketball, eight to go in the half. Gets it off to Johnson. Here's Johnson, drives against Primo, pumps it up in, and the foul. Oh, boy. That's not what Hartford needed in that situation, and head coach Morgan Valley is furious on that far sideline. Yeah, absolutely. You have to know exactly what the guards are going to do. They know their end of shot clock plays. These guards are tremendous. They're able to shoot the basketball, take pull-ups, get themselves to the rim. That time, a nice, solid drive, and getting the layup, but also getting to the line to cut into this into a seven-point game. Free throw is good, so she does just that and make it 41-34. Villalobos will chuck it up at half court, and that will do it for the half. But really an exciting first half. Tons of runs from both sides, but it's Hartford that will have the lead at the break.
Hawks 41, Stony Brook 34. The halftime show is next on ESPN. Next, we have Maria Bangalio, a mechanical engineering major from Cut Up Backville, New York. My favorite town. Maria plays the trumpet and is a section leader of the band. Next up, we have Kemba Pohan, a performing arts management major from Westbrook, Maine. Kemba is a drum set player in the band and also an executive board member. And lastly, but not leastly, we have Will Stark, a computer engineer major from Westbrook Bay. Which has been big. Stony Brook, if they're able to get possessions on their side, it makes them very dangerous. They're good on the offensive end, from the arc, from the paint area. They're good on defense. But right now, Hartford's been able to get those extra possessions, turn some of them into points, doing a nice job taking care of the basketball, and also forcing Stony Brook into a variety of different plays where they've been able to either throw the ball away or get steals and come down the other end. Ted, what we should look for, what should we look for for both sides in the second half? Well, I think the biggest key for Stony Brook is I'm sure Coach McCombs is talking right now, get back and stop them on defense. I mean if they get back and get a few stops, they're able to run in transition. They're able to do some awfully good things. They are able to score if they're getting the ball back. Hartford on the other hand have to avoid Stony Brook making big runs. They have to continue to match them continue to play aggressively, see if they can execute together, get the ball going side to side, let the defense break down, take those good shots they've been taking so far. Hartford looking for the upset of all upsets. Some interesting statistics. We'll take a look at the stat page when we come back at halftime. Hartford and Stony Brook at the break.
Jeff Julie, Ted Woodward, halftime. Stony Brook trails Hartford 41 34. And Ted, take a look at the first half numbers. Yeah, Stony Brook really right now on the glass, up six. That's a place where Hartford has to continue to try to shut them down, not allow them. Right now, Stony Brook, eight offensive rebounds. Hartford only has seven defensive rebounds. Once again, cannot give, cannot give them those extra possessions. Both teams right now, points in the paint when they've been able to drive it and post up solidly even. Turnovers, however, Stony Brook up at 13. That's very high for yeah. them. Uh, so far in this game, Hartford's doing a nice job with that. Hartford, at the same time, has to keep that turnover number low. But really, the story, Hartford shooting almost 54% from the floor and 57% from three, playing with a tremendous amount of confidence, playing together, a lot of contributions, six different players already scoring, two in double figures, really nice job. Have to continue to keep it going. Void some droughts. Do you think Ted Stony Brook tries to make the adjustment on the perimeter or in, or just play their game? Well, I think they have really good quick guards and are very good defensively. So I think a lot of it just has to do with energy coming out and setting the tone on the defensive end and kind of making Hartford dribble inside that arc some and seeing if the rotation to help him come around. But I'm sure Coach Coombs right now is really talking about cranking up that defensive intensity and seeing if they can string together a few stops. 41-34 the score. We'll take a look at the American standings, and Stony Brook has already clinched their first ever regular season title. How about 13-1 of the league play? 25-2. The only other loss besides Maine against uh, a top 25 team earlier this season, and uh, they're just trying to prep for the playoffs, but uh, you know, right now they're trying to win this game. Yeah, really, you know, you don't want to be playing poorly going into the late part of February and March, and Stony Brook coming off that loss at Maine, uh, kind of uh, shaking the cobwebs out here in the first half. After, uh, this evening as well, but really have to get back to playing their game, playing a lot of comps, had a great season all the way through. This half is going to be very big for them for their confidence and going into the latter part of the season. All right, we will take a break, come back with more from the halftime show after this. Seven-point lead for the Hawks against the ranked Seawolves. We are at halftime. Hartford leads Stony Brook 41-34 as we get ready for the second half in the third quarter. And Ted, let's first take a look at some of the highlights from half number one. The Hawks really got things rolling early and often. Got off to an 11-2 start. Yeah, really nice job. And, you know, they're forced some turnovers. were able to come down and transition. Good, solid execution. Knowing how to play together, seeing where the open player was, a lot of assisted baskets, just a lot of confidence and playing with aggression, getting to their spots. Their offense is really clicking on all cylinders so far this evening. And the shooting lights out. There you see Villalobos hit one of Hartford's eight threes in the first half. And 
You know, it seems like all the other games, right, that would have popped out. It's just everything has gone Hartford's way, it seemed, the first 20 minutes of this thing tonight. No question. They have done a nice job spotting up off of ball screens, taking some space, and a really nice job knocking down the shot from the arc. Jeff Dooley, Ted Woodward back at halftime. We get you set for the second half. And the Hawks and Stony Brook Seawolves battling. And well, Ted, what do you think both teams discussed at the intermission? Well, I'm pretty sure Stony Brook talked a lot about just their intensity. Hartford's beaten them to a lot of loose balls. They have uh, been able to beat them down the floor a few times. So I'm sure Coach McCombs has just reminded them how hard they have to play. Every single night you're playing Division One basketball, have to be, come out ready and see if they can get off to a great start on the defensive end in particular. Their offense feeds off their defense. Hartford, on the other hand, playing with a lot of confidence, and I'm sure Coach Valley has told them to continue to execute and, you know, play out there with no fear. Continue to play with confidence, continue to play together, execute crisply. When they do that, they're in rhythm, shots are going down. Great start for Hartford, see if they can continue it here. Start off third quarter. 41-34 the score. And Hawks got off to that tremendous start. They scored 11 of the first 13 points for Stony Brook into a timeout. Four minutes into the game, and the Seawolves will have the basketball to start this third quarter. Wolves 25-2, and, and they're ranked in the latest College Insider mid-major poll at number eight, receiving top 25 votes for the first time. And Looking to stage the comeback here on the road. And Stony Brook in the road reds, and they do strike first here in the third quarter. Mackenzie Boucher with an easy layup to make it within closing distance now, 41-36. Yeah, really, they're on them a run We're kind of at the end of the half here, a few baskets, and now really quick one to start out the third quarter. 
sure their defensive intensity will try to crank up this possession. There's Lucas, gets it right side, and McLemore pulls up for the free throw line and hits. Can Hartford stay this hot? Wow. Well, that was a lot of great patience. They really take, took their time, executed their offense side to side, ball screen came, McLemore able to go over the top of that ball screen, cleared the defender, able to knock down the pull-up jump shot. Hartford 15 of 27, it's 56%, 8 of 14 from long range, and 5 of 6 at the line. Top of the key and a 3 is going to rim out. That was Stony Brook miss, and Hartford the rebound. There's Jordan McLemore. As Dothard off the right shoulder, works it inside of Wade, who pumps it up. Can't get the shot to go, and the rebound brought in by Cheyenne Clark. It was Clark ahead to Kayla Hilaire, a senior from Queens. NBA range three, and she hits it. Wow, it's a good looking shot for Hilaire. Yeah, they really have some offensive firepower and Stony Brook now getting a couple baskets, seeing if they can string some stops and scores together consecutively. She's got seven, is now 10 shy of 1,000. Who's held the four points in the first half, the leading score for the Seawolves. This here is Smith, try to get the angle, can go up, goes up for the shot as it blocked, goes out of bounds. It'll be Stony Brook basketball as the Seawolves do indeed Come up with a stop. Yeah, two good post-defensive possessions back-to-back. -back. They were very strong in the post, really stayed straight up in the air, didn't cause a foul, just played solid defense. Stoney Brooks, Kayla Hilaire with the basketball. Gets it off to Boucher. Now for Clark. Now to Warren. And a whistle and a foul. Yes, Tony Brook in a real flow on the offensive end. Knows exactly what they wanted to call. Thought they could get themselves into the post. Good execution on that play set. Hilaire set to inbound. Lobs it nearly in the traffic. Boucher comes up with it. Gets it back up top. That's Hiller driving in. Leaves it for the cutting. Clark who puts it up in and the foul. Yeah, the guards here. Very aggressive on their dribble penetration. First one didn't go, second one around, came down. Hartford tried to take the charge, but inside that circle, as a result, basket counts. And back to the free throw line for an N1 play. And a chance to make it a one point game. Hartford was up by 16, she misses the free throw. Villalobos able to secure the rebound. And here come the Hawks, uh, trying to and to what is now just a two-point lead. Dothard sends Lucas through, gets it to Villalobos. Off to Lucas. Villalobos works it inside a wee. Back to McLemore. Drives in, goes up for the shot as it blocks. She grabs her own rebound. The shot clock will wind down. It will be a shot clock violation. Yeah, it's Tony Brooks' defense out an extra step now. On that arc, no room for those shooters. Trailing players coming off of down screens on the cuts, really forcing Hartford to put the ball on the floor into some traffic situations. Nice job by Stony Brook defensively. Lair with the basketball. Bounces to Clark. Turns in and Villalobos. Finds Zeiss. Zeiss throws it nearly into traffic, but somehow Boucher comes up with it. Boucher inside of Zeiss, throws up the shot, can't get a shot to go, offensive rebound, Boucher pumps it up and in. And just like that, Stony Brook erases a one-time 16-point deficit and ties the game at 43 aside, and that's going to force Hartford into a timeout. Timeout on the floor, 6.48 to go in the third. We're tied at 43 here in West Hartford.
Well, the Hartford Hawks were able to avoid 11-0 run and a knockout punch early in the second quarter. Hartford ended up getting a lead back to 16 points. But Stony Brook, Ted, right now on a 19-3 run as they've erased that 16-point deficit. We hit reset 43-43 with just under seven minutes to play in the third quarter. Hartford's got to get going now. Well, they've opened up this half with zero turnovers. They're shooting 67% from the floor, 50% from three, and six points in the paint. They're doing a nice job in all phases on their offense, and the defensive end have held Hartford right now, one for four from the floor, and forced two turnovers. So really, both ends of the court, Stony Brook playing the way that has made them America East regular conference champions throughout the year. Hartford's not getting looks to they had in the first half. No, Stony Brook has gotten their defense out, extended. They're just a little bit quicker over the top of screens. Just being the aggressor right now, playing very hard on both ends. They're, they're the ones that are now being quicker to some of the loose balls. And Hartford needs to really kind of find some rhythm here on the offensive end, see if they can uh, kind of break the ice. This is big news. Jordan McLemore hits her fourth foul, and she will have to take a seat. Yeah, and that's a huge problem for Hartford. Just One so of their quick. key playmakers and ball handlers. A uh, big foul for her. So Primo's back in. There's a left wing three. Comes up short by Zeiss. Offensive rebound is grabbed by Stony Brook. And now a three by Hilaire. Can't get the shot to go. Another offensive rebound is brought in by the Seawolves. Hartford cannot continue to give up offensive rebounds. No, right now that is 11, 10 offensive rebounds yep. for Stony Brook. And Hartford only has seven on the defensive end. So better than 50-50 right now, Stony Brook is going to get that second shot. Warren with the basketball and a foul call, and it's against Hartford. Well, we set the shot clock to 20. It's the second whistle call on Carmen Villalobos. And the Seawolves will inbound along the baseline. Inbounds to Clark. Cheyenne elevates, can't get the shot to go. Another offensive rebound grabbed by Stony Brook. She can't bring it in cleanly, though. It will go out of bounds, and Hartford gets it back. And Stony Brook, what a really good job of screening they do yep. as well. They do set the screens right on the defensive player. It forces a lot of switch situations. That time they had to slip inside the post player with a guard on her, Primo on her, not able to come up with it, but you can see the execution they are playing with so far this third quarter. Lucas now for Dothard. Here's Villalobos. Back to Lucas. Hartford getting outscored 9-2 to here in this third quarter. Stony Brook has certainly been the aggressor here to start the second half. Lucas drives in kind of a circus shot as she's losing her balance. Grabbed by Stony Brook, but it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Hartford will stay Seawolves basketball. Yeah, you can just see right there. Hartford is, doesn't have any comfort level out on the perimeter right now. Stony Brook is taking the extra step or two out on defense. They are really out there playing, forcing the dribble penetration into some traffic areas. Hartford's having some problems with it so far this third quarter. Kayla Hillier with the basketball. Gets it off to Gucci Babanche. Now Hillier. Hillier. Calling out the set play with seven to go in the shot clock. Nice move goes by Villalobos, throws it up in traffic, no good. Offensive rebound, Boucher leaves it for a left wing three, no good. Spilled on the play is Sice. No foul call. Here's Hartford back in transition. Villalobos all the way to the rim, puts it off the backboard in for the layup. Yeah, nice job by Hartford in transition, able to secure the ball. Villalobos sprinting down the court, getting an easy bucket, something that Hartford's going to continue to need to do, see if they can score some in transition. That will end a 19-3 run for the Seawolves. There's Warren's going to pull up along the baseline, can't get the shot to go, goes out of bounds. Hartford basketball. Four fifteen to go.
Carmen Villalobos getting the feed inside and nice power move to the basket, Ted. A much needed hoop for the Hawks. Yeah, they really needed to get a bucket in transition. Good solid defensive possession and have to continue to get stops on defense, see if they can turn them into some transition points on the offensive end, see if they can continue to execute on offense, find some mismatches here and just look to see maybe they get another three-point shot off. They haven't had one so far here in the third quarter, but that has a lot to do with Stony Brook pushing out their defense. Villalobos did miss some time due to injury, but she has two players with double figures. She has 14, Lucas with 13. She's 5 of 9 for the field as Villalobos, 3 of 5 from long range. So she's one of those double threats where you, you have to guard her from beyond the arc because she can make the three, but she also shows you she can drive and post up inside yeah. as well. Yeah, she's going to be a very nice player in this program. She is very active, very aggressive out there, runs the court able to put the ball on the floor, shoot the three, a lot of versatility as she continues to grow in the game and continue to get stronger throughout her time here. You're gonna see she's gonna be a, a tremendous force, but does it really in a lot of different ways on offense and defense. And just a freshman, she's got the basketball now, kicks it right side for a Dothan three, no good. I should say, rebound grab by Stony Brook and down the other side, they try to get the easy basket, Boucher, Pumps it up and in. Really nice transition by Stony Brook. Really ran the court. A lot of different players shared the basketball, not able to come up with the first, but another offensive rebound putback. Boucher with 10, and Stony Brook with the lead, 45-44, their first edge since falling down by 16. Dothard top of the key, tries the three. That will rim out, and the rebound poked out of bounds. It will... Stay hard for basketball. Well, unfortunate, Dothard had a couple nice looks, and she is open out there and has a good looking shot, just not able to knock those down last couple of possessions. Dothard, one for five from three point land today. Ball goes into Smith and out of Villalobos. Here's Villalobos outside the arc. How about Charlotte Lores checking in for the first time today? Gives it, trying to get the feed inside, had a hand on it, but has it taken away as Stony Brook comes up with it. There's Hilaire. There's a work it inside of Boucher. Back up top, Hilaire. A three. Short. And the rebound is brought in by Dothard as Hartford comes up with a stop. 45-45 with just over two minutes to play here in the third quarter. Boy, what a fourth quarter you think this is going to be. Wow. There's Primo. Boy, nice job Smith by Sierra. Smith drives in. Yeah. yeah, Sierra try to get the angle and gets fouled, Ted. Once again, that side ball screen has been something that Hartford has really gone to. That time coming across the top of Sierra Smith, she was able to roll, get the ball back into her, and really made a nice one-on-one -on -one post move to get right to the rim for the foul. Sierra Smith at the line. And front rim's the first. Makes the second and puts the Hawks up with 2.27 to go here in the third quarter. Tony Brook with the basketball. Kayla Hilaire running the point. Senior from the Queens. Gets it off to Warren. Pulls up for the right side of the baseline. It hits. Nice looking shot. By Anastasia Warren. Well, those guards are so comfortable with the pull-up game. That makes them dangerous. They can shoot the three. They can get to the basket. But they can also make that mid-range. That time getting in there without any traffic. Able to make the nice pull-up jump shot. She's got four. Lucas back to this side for the Hawks. As the Seals take the lead. And... It'll be a little hand check called on Caleb Dothard. It'll be a foul called against Hartford. And Stony Brook gets it back. That's the first one called on the freshman from Lexington Park, Maryland. Yeah, tough call right there, trying to drive, but just kind of giving a little push off and don't need that turnover right now. Hartford needs to continue to maintain possession. There's a three, and then a rim out by Gucci Bravance. Hartford the rebound as the Hawks clear it. Villalobos off to Dothard. 
Now to try to get it to the cutting Wade. Ball tipped up, batted around. Wade somehow comes up with it. For the Hawks, gives it now to Lurs. Off to Lucas with a seven on the shot clock. Got to feed it inside to Villalobos. The step back fade away from 10 feet out, no good. And Stoney Brook the rebound. Hilaire with the basketball with just about a minute to play here in the third quarter. Mia Smith in the game, gets it off to Hilaire. Now Gucci Bavance nails the three. She's dangerous. Well, she's got such great size, and it's hard for Hartford's post players to go all the way out to that arc to guard her. And she has been able to shoot the basketball out there with a lot of comfort. It's really come up big for the Seawolves tonight. And four-point lead for Stony Brook, large to the game. Lurz tries a three and hits. Oh, Charlotte Lurz, her first three of the game. She missed some time with injury, but back to hit the triple. Well, Charlotte makes things happen. She comes in. She usually provides a spark on the offensive end on the glass and a nice answer three right there. That's her fifth of the season. She's 5 for 10 from long range. 15 seconds to play in the third, and Stony Brook by a point. Again, Stony Brook ranked number eight in the mid-major coaches uh, college insider poll. Round shotting defense, driving in as Johnson can't get the angle. Loose grabs the rebound, buzzer will sound, no shot. And we will head to the fourth quarter with it being a one-point game. Three in the books. We head to the fourth. Stony Brook 50, Hartford 49. Well, Hartford won the first two quarters against Stony Brook and led it at halftime, but Stony Brook outscoring Hartford in the third quarter. 16-8, Ted Woodward to take a one-point lead, 50-49, into the fourth quarter. And really, the biggest story is Stony Brook continuing to get offensive rebounds. 14 now getting leading to eight second chance points, and Stony Brook had zero turnovers in that third quarter. That's really important. Now Hartford had, uh, I believe, a four. You cannot give them extra possession. Stony Brook is very good statistically. Field goal percentage, defensive field goal percentage. Hartford's got to close off those rebounds, see if they can force Stony Brook to do a few more turnovers. 
Wade can't get the angle as the ball taken away by Stony Brook. Here's Hilaire all the way back to the other side. She lays it up and in, and boy, Stony Brook comes out and uh, very similar to the, the last quarter, be, being the aggressor. Yeah, Stony Brook's guard just so good, so strong. Know exactly what they want to do with the basketball. Kind of run the show, both ends of the court. Big possessions here for Hartford. Hartford's got to come up with some stops and see if they can get some scores. Well, there with the basketball, kind of slowing things down for the Seawolves. Gets it off to Johnson. Back to Hilaire, drives in and gets all the way to the rim and scores. Yeah, and right now, getting all the way into that paint area, there's really no nothing keeping them out of there. Hartford's got to buckle down, at least force them to try to get out and make some threes. But right now, offense too easy for Stony Brook. Well, left wing three is an air ball put up by Dothert, who's had a tough day shooting. Hilaire going to pull up for a long, a short two. Can't get the shot to go. There for the garbage points rebound. An easy basket for Nia Smith, and Hartford will call for the timeout as Stony Brook has added to its advantage, and the lead goes to seven now. That's the largest lead of the ball game for the Wolves. We're back to West Hartford after this. Well, look at Kayla Hilaire, who has held a four points, 10 in the first half, but she's getting going now. She's up to 11 and four of 10 shooting. That time she gets the basket as she drives to the hole, and she is now six points shy, becoming the next 1,000 point scorer at Stony Brook. What makes her so good? Well, she's just so strong and confident and versatile. She knows exactly what she wants to do out there. The ball is a part of her as she's dribbling down the court. Complete control, quickness, just a tremendous leader out there, doing a great job for the Seawolves team. Sierra Smith had it in the post, gets it now to Lucas. Lucas drives in, leaves it now for Wade. Wade drives the basket, count the basket and the foul, and Hartford could really use some nice breaks here in this fourth quarter. Yeah, and really nice job moving the basketball and driving inside there. Stony Brook's defense has been tremendous. They really came over in good, solid help rotation, but all of a sudden a defender left the live ball. Wade saw it, was able to dribble in and make the layup and get herself for an N1, a big bucket for Hartford. They need to continue to keep scoring. There you have it, a free throw is good, and it's a four-point game. 
with 8.21 to go. And Hartford just really needs to buckle down on the defensive end here, not give up any layup situations. Stony Brook has been executing, doing a solid job. See if they continue it right here. There's Johnson now for Hillier. Oh, nice pass to the cutter. Found Killer Smith, but the ball uh, foul called against Hartford. Yeah, Hilaire, really nice job driving in there. Defender came over to help. She saw it, was able to make an easy dish to her teammate. Not able to come up with a bucket, but getting herself to the free throw line. So Nina Smith, junior from the Bronx, going to the free throw line where she hasn't had a whole lot of experience this season, just one for two from the line. India Pagan, the second leading scorer and leading rebounder on the Stony Brook team, hasn't played at all yet today. Out, As the first one is missed, and trying to make the adjustment here. Second one, no good. Rebound up for grabs and taken in by Hartford. As Arye Wade grabbed it and got fouled. Boy, nice job by Wade in traffic there. Stony Brook is really very aggressive at offensive glass. Wade got up there, got both hands on it, strong with the basketball, drew the foul. Lucci Bavanche picked up this foul, her second. Eight minutes to play in this one. And it's a four-point game. There's Villalobos now for Lucas. Back to Villalobos. Drives in, floater in traffic, scores. Wow, Carmen Villalobos throws up a pretty good shot and gets it to go. Well, they're all looking for driving angles. They had a little weave going on out there. The most logical person that time, Via Lobos, had a little bit of a mismatch, able to take it in that paint area, knock down the shot. That's her sixth basket. She's got 16. There's Smith drives in, can't get the shot to go. Loose for the rebound. Via Lobos able to track it down as she falls to one knee, but keeps the dribble alive for Hartford. Tremendous aggressive play by Via Lobos. Now Gina Lucas as we get to the seven minute mark. Gets off to Smith, now to Via Lobos. Now Lucas drives baseline, stops, pops, and hits. Yeah, nice job. That side ball screen has been very effective for Hartford. That time, instead of taking it, Jada Lucas saw the defender had already hedged out, took the opportunity to drive the baseline, knock down the short jump shot. Hartford avoids another knockout punch and ties the game 56 aside as we go inside seven minutes to play. Here's Hilaire. Drives baseline against Villalobos. Kicks it right side for Zeiss. Now top of the key, a three by Ward is good. Boy, really nice job that time by not passing the basketball, coming up with solid balance and knocking down a big three from the corner. Helped break that drop for Stony Brook. Yeah, Zeiss has 11 now via Lobos for Dothard, a three. It's good! Kayla Dothard hits her first three of the game. Actually, her second three of the game. She's got six, and we well, reset great. again. Yeah, great to see another big answer. Stony Brook comes down, make a three. Hartford turn right back around, make another one. Great job tying up the basketball game. Hartford with a season-high 10 threes in this game. And Smith can't get the shot to fall, and the rebound taken in by Hartford. Lobos off to Lucas, and the Hawks now will catch their breath on O. What a game this has been here tonight. Yeah, they really have to continue to stay aggressive on the offensive end. It's given them some confidence, stayed in rhythm, seeing if they can make a few plays. Here's Villalobos, just outside the arc, gives it a wave. Back to Villalobos. Here's Lucas. Five to go, Lucas pulls up. A long two, can't get the shot to go. Villalobos, a long rebound, fires a three with a shot clock winding down. No good, but the foul, the rebound, Wade, and she gets fouled. Well, once again, Hartford, for the most part, has been quicker to the loose balls tonight. Wade that time, tremendous offensive rebound, able to get that thing up to the glass, and now putting herself to the free throw line. Great hustle all around. Let's take a look at that again, Ted. Well, Wade just cleared space in there and able to go up there with both hands. Strong rebound, putting it back up. Getting to the line, but the other thing is getting closer to the bonus. If Hartford can get closer to the bonus situation, it's going to help them break some drought situations late in this quarter. Big play by Wade. Wade makes the free throw. Hartford has done a nice job for the line. Eight of ten in the contest tonight. And the Hawks retake the lead. Second one is good, so it's 61-59 Hartford. 
Just over five minutes to play here in West Hartford, Connecticut. Good to have you with us. Been a fun one. Jeff Dooley, Ted Woodward here on ESPN. Here's Hillier with the basketball. Gets it now to Warren. Top of the key. Tries a three. That will rim out. Here's the rebound. Boucher pumps it up. No good. Hartford able to clear the rebound. No, it goes off of the hands of Hartford. Sierra Smith. She had it in Ted, but couldn't cleanly bring the basketball into her. Yeah, three white jerseys on the ball that time. Not able to come up with it, but you see Hartford is really trying to have team rebounding in there and close off possessions. Inbound to Hilaire. Gets it off to Warren, pulls up for long two. Can't get the shot to go. Lobo secures the rebound with both hands for Hartford. Yeah, nice job again by Hartford, forcing some jump shots, not allowing Stony Brook to get all the way to the basket, kind of where they made their run in the past. So nice job by the Hawks, see if they can convert now again on offense. There's Lucas, try to get to Lobo, but throws the pass out of her range and it goes out of bounds. It'll be a tough turnover as Stony Brook takes over an L. Yeah, Hartford just has to continue to keep executing, move that ball side to side, utilize that weave, see if they can break down the defense. Got to continue to score, get some stops, push down in transition. There's Hilaire with the basketball. Hilaire driving in, elevating, and can't get the shot to go. Loose for the rebound. It's taken away by Sierra Smith. Boy, she's been tough inside tonight. Absolutely. Right now, Hartford been able to come up with some of those rebounds. Good, solid help rotation. Coming over, making that a more difficult shot, but another big stop for the Hawks. Chance to make this a two-possession game. Here's Smith with the basketball, gets it to Dother to just hit a three. We get just to the four-minute mark here in the fourth quarter. Here's Villalobos, has the ball taken away, and it's stolen away by Stony Brook, and all the way down the other side, a foul as Cheyenne Clark was streaking towards the rim. Well, nice job by Stony Brook on defense. They know that Hartford's trying to make that little play on the side. That time, defender got her hands up, able to get deflection, push down, and for Sierra Smith, really a good foul. Just came down yep. and made sure that uh, Stony Brook was not going to make that layup. Got to make him earn it from the line, but another big steal by Stony Brook, pushing down in transition. Sierra Smith picks up her third foul. Again, Stony Brook had a recent 20-game, 20 22-game win streak that ended last time out. It was the longest current win streak in college basketball. They also beat Power 5 Pitt earlier this season. Took down, their only loss was to ranked Arkansas. That was back in November. He throws up and no good, and Hartford able to pull down the rebound. Hawks by a point. We go inside four minutes to play. There's McLemore. Now for Lucas. That's it to Villalobos through the hands of McLemore. Here's Smith. Lucas drives in, elevates, can't get the shot to go, but she gets fouled. Well, that was great patience. Great patience by Lucas that time. The side ball screen came, really nice screen set. She was able to turn the corner. Defenders were kind of scrambling, getting back in front of her. Was patient, able to jump in and draw that foul. And now, the rest of the way, next foul, Hartford will be in the bonus. So. Really a big foul and a great opportunity for Jade here at the free throw line. Right, for 9 of 11 as a group today, make it 10 of 12 as Lucas, a 73% free throw shooter, makes her first. What a game Jada Lucas has played, the pride of New London. Has 15 points. Front rims the next one, loose and grabbed by Hartford. The Hawks come up with an offensive rebound and a huge box out play. And now a whistle. I think they're just trying to reset the shot clock here. But great hustle. Hartford's been quicker to those loose balls, especially in this fourth quarter. Doing a nice job getting extra possession. So Jordan McLemore, the shot clock at 16, inbounds to Villalobos. Gets it back to McLemore, playing with four fouls. Off to Lucas. There's Lucas, left side, Dother. Works it inside of Smith. Turns the angle, has nothing there. Kicks it for Dothard, left wing three. She got it! Oh, wow, what a three by Kayla Dothard. It's her third of the game, and Hartford goes up by five with three minutes to play. Tremendous job on offense right there. Great patience all the way around. Hartford playing together. Big, big play, and now a big stop and rebound. Yeah, Warren misses the three, and Hartford gets the rebound. Hawks inside three minutes to go, lead by five, and Hartford has the basketball. 
Here's McLemore. Gets it to Smith. Off to Dothard, who hit a big, big shot moments ago. As Jada Lucas drives in and gets fouled. Well, and you talked about now to be a one and one situation. Absolutely. As they're going side to side, they saw they had a great screen. Sierra Smith is doing a great job setting screens out there. Solid screens. But Lucas be able to pop back out in that corner, able to drive in there, and now back to the line for two shots. So tremendous job. Being in the bonus really helps break some drought situations, potentially put Hartford up seven here. So Jada Lucas goes to the line. Well, she is three of five tonight. She has 16 points. Her and Villalobos lead Hartford's offensive attack. Couple of biggies for Jada Lucas. Well, the first of a one and one, I should say. And she makes the first. Two. Oh, I'm sorry, two. It, yes, Jada, you can see she is confident as a go-to player. Hartford's looking for her in these situations. She's able to make plays, very aggressive, getting herself to the free throw line, knocking down shots, big plays. Now they gotta come up with big stops. Stony well, Brook now, Ted, it's, it's a three possession game. Absolutely. Two and a half to go. That's gonna force Stony Brook into a timeout. And we will keep it here with the Hawks leading Stony Brook 67-60, 2.37 to go. And Coach Ted Woodward bring us in both huddles right yeah, here. Well, right now, Hartford's just talking about what they want to do on the defensive end and knowing who they want to guard, how they want to cover ball screens in particular, and making sure that they understand that they need to have five white jerseys down there every possession to close off rebounds. They cannot afford Stony Brook to get second shots. Stony Brook, a lot of options, plenty of time left certainly in this game. Sure, they will continue to run their uh, offense, try to get good solid execution, see if Hilaire can make a play either for herself or for her teammates, and uh, uh, emphasize going to get second shots, going back and crashing the offensive glass. They've been effective doing that, seeing if they can get there again. So Stony Brook will have the basketball at midcourts. And it's hard for them, has the seven point lead with two minutes and 37 seconds left on the clock. Kayla Hilaire with the basketball in her hand. Gets it off to Boucher. Crowd shotting defense here in Hartford. Now working into Clark, who scores underneath the basket with a layup. Boy, really nice play drawn up by Coach McCombs. Out of bounds, knew exactly what they wanted. High, low, immediate layup. Tremendous job by the Seawolves. Jordan McLemore with it for the Hawks. Up by five. Gives it to Villalobos, trying to back her way in. Picks up the dribble, gives it now to Smith, back to Lucas, as we get to the two-minute mark. There's Lucas pulls up at the free throw line and hits. Wow, the new London native has had the game of her life. Yeah, she's playing tremendous basketball, and credit Sierra Smith again. Another great screen, freeing up her teammate for an easy short jump shot. She's got 20, and Hartford leads it by seven, inside two minutes to go. Is driving in, throwing up a shot. Victoria Johnson gets the basket to go and the foul. Wow, what a big shot at a big time. Victoria Johnson, the junior from Mississippi. Yeah, and you just cannot allow Stony Brook to get into that paint area. Last play down, they posted up right away. This time, driving in there. Got to keep them out. Got to force them to make contested jump shots right now. Last two possessions, Stony Brook able to get in there tight. Johnson, a 78% free throw shooter, makes it. And it's a four-point game with one minute, 40 seconds to go. Hartford with a basketball. Here's Jordan McLemore. Still a two-possession game for the Hawks. McLemore gets the feed, dribbles the left elbow. Now set to go, drives towards the rim and gets fouled. You know, Hartford just being very patient on offense. They are letting the game come to them. They're taking what the defense gives them. As they're being patient, they are finding holes in the defense where they're able to drive in and as a result, get themselves fouled, get themselves some nice little easy shots. They've been doing a tremendous job. Certainly shows a lot of maturity of this young Hawks basketball team has been playing with poise here, especially in this fourth quarter. Jordan McLemore, the sophomore from New Jersey, going to the line for the first time tonight. And she misses her front end. She's a 60% free throw shooter. She will try to make the proper adjustment and put her team up by five.
she does. 70-65 Hartford. Just over a minute to play. There's Johnson with the basketball. Bruce Bavanche with it. Back to Hilaire. Hilaire drives in as her shot blocked away. Loose. Grabbed by Stony Brook who comes up with it with 16 in the shot clock. And then right sideline, it's Hilaire. Hilaire throws the floater up a traffic kick and the shot to go. Hartford clears the rebound. A terrific board by Jordan McLemore. We go inside a minute to play in the Hawks with a basketball and a five-point lead. Yeah, big, big stop. See if Hartford takes some clock here, runs it down near the end of the shot clock, see if they can draw a foul potentially or turn the corner off a ball screen. Well, Jordan. Lucas, one of the best free throw shooters. Now it's McLemore drives in, throws it up in traffic, can't get the shot to go loose on the floor, and a whistle and a foul. Not exactly what you want to do there, but not in the bonus right now, so at least slows down that fast break. Now the problem is next time you foul, Stony Brook's going to end up going to the line. We'll keep it here, 35 seconds to go, 70-65, Stony Brook head with the basketball, and talk about uh, what, what the teams are discussing in this situation. Yeah, right now, Stony Brook is designing a play. They're able to advance the basketball, so you'll see another quick hitter from Stony Brook, see if they can get a quick score, and then they'll set their defense right away. I would expect to see them hop into some sort of pressure, see if they can get one trap before they have to go ahead and hit. It's gonna be key. Hartford's going to have to be ready on the defensive end, try to keep them out of the lane. Certainly do not foul Stony Brook in right. any you situation. You want to play defense, just not foul in the situation. But then right? the other thing you want to do is make sure you're setting up a press break. Now, Hartford still has a couple of timeouts left. They would be able to take a timeout if Stony Brook was to score. But you certainly don't want to be in a situation where you turn the basketball over, try to keep the ball in your free throw, best free throw shooter's hands. So the Hawks looking to knock off Stony Brook with 35 seconds to go. And you know, recently Stony Brook has played a lot of really close games. They uh, went to overtime, losing their game last game at Maine. A couple of two-point wins, four-point wins. So they've been right there. Um, certainly Hartford has done a great job throughout the entire evening being the aggressor, getting on loose balls. Just a, a nice job all around by the Hawks tonight. Haley Zeiss will inbound for Stony Brook. Gets it into Kayla Hilaire. Hilaire now for Gucci Provence. Gives it to Warren who drives it and scores. So Anastasia Warren with a quick basket. To make it 70-67 with 25 seconds to go. Here's McLemore by the mid-floor line. Try to get the Villalobos and she throws it out of her range, out of bounds. And oh boy, a big turnover as Stony Brook will get the ball back down by three with 22 seconds to go. Well, that's interesting, because I don't think Stony Brook was ready for that defensive possession. I think they assumed that Hartford was going to call timeout. Instead, Hartford got the ball in, was killing clock, and unfortunate with the big turnover. See if Stony Brook runs some kind of offense to get off a clean three here. There's Warren, spots up from long range, can't get the shot to go. Offensive rebound, Hilaire, she will back it up. Zeiss tries the three, no good. Rebound, offense, Zeiss has it. Left wing three is short by Hilaire. Hartford grabs the rebound with three seconds to go. A wow, Hartford gives up a couple of offensive rebounds, but gets a much needed stop. Yeah, big, big play right there. Defensively scrambling all around. Stony Brook not able to come up with that tying three. Hartford getting that, just have to make a free throw here. Push it to a two-possession game. Stony Brook still has a timeout. Will it be able to advance the basketball? Sierra Smith will be going to the free throw line. A 55% free throw shooter. If she makes one, that should do it. She misses the front end, and she'll get another chance to make this a two-possession game with 3.5 to go. No good, a rebound taken in by Boucher and a timeout called by Stony Brook. Yeah, this is uh, going to be an <laughs> interesting situation for Hartford here. So, Stony Brook is going to try to design this play, getting the ball at half court. The question is, do you foul? If you foul quickly before somebody gets into their shooting motion, that's only going to be two shots. So, the problem is the clock down to 3.2 seconds. I'm sure Coach McCombs is thinking, 
they want to be in a situation where they catch shoot on the arc. It may be too short of a time period to actually commit a foul to put Stony Brook on the line. But if I'm Hartford, I don't even have anybody inside the arc. I have all my five players stand on the arc, out beyond the arc, make Stony Brook make a 25-footer to win the basketball game, and certainly do not be in a situation where you foul the shooter. There's no reason to have anybody inside the arc on this defensive possession. Everybody can stay outside. They don't have to worry about a score on the interior. Just make sure a three-pointer does not get up on this shot. Switch everything. Haley Zeiss will inbound with Villalobos doing jump jacks right in front of her. She will toss it into Boucher. Boucher top of the key. Warren takes a three. She will miss. And Hartford pulls up the upset. Of all upsets as the Hawks celebrate in a well-deserved victory as they knock off ranked Stony Brook 70-67 here in Hartford. What an amazing game and come from behind win. Both teams avoiding punches. Hartford putting together an 11-2 run to start. Stony Brook answers with an 11-0 run and would go from the second quarter to the third quarter in part of a 19-3 run. And the Hawks got the lead back to 16, only to watch Stony Brook come back, take the lead again. But the Hawks bent a little bit, didn't break, and their first victory of the season comes on their final day of the season. And what a win as they knock off number eight in the mid-major poll, Stony Brook, 70-67, the final score here tonight. Wow, what a tremendous win for the Hawks. As Hartford gets the win and Stony Brook will lose back-to-back -back games for the first time all season. They will fall to 25-3 and 13-2 and and in league play. And uh, Ted Woodward just waiting for Morgan Valley, obviously really excited, heading her direction. And the two coaches will talk as Hartford gets the victory and stuns Stony Brook. Ted Woodward with a winning head coach, Morgan Valley. Ted? Well, an incredible win here tonight for Hartford. Coach, just talk about your emotions, your basketball team. It's just a great thing they did all night. You know, it's just a, it's a crazy night. You know, you never know what can happen. And uh, these young ladies put it all out there for us. You guys played with tremendous execution. Jada Lucas really kind of took over the game. She's kind of become a go-to scorer for her. Talk about your guard play, especially down the stretch. You know, they, we've just kept getting better every day. Uh, and if you weren't in it, you didn't know. Um, and, you know, those guys, they just, they really did. They left it all out here. And Carmen Villalobos really, as a freshman, has given you such a big spark. Again tonight coming in, some big threes, some big defensive plays. Talk about, I know you've got a very young basketball team, but right now the growth that they've had and really the promise they have moving forward, the things they've learned, how excited are you about them continuing to grow throughout the offseason into the future? No, I'm, I'm excited. I was sad that yesterday was our last practice. Um, you know, I, I just can't wait. Give them some time off, and then I'm excited to get back out here with them. Well, a great win tonight. Certainly a, a, a lot of poise, tremendous effort all the way around. Congratulations on a wonderful night. Jeff, back to you. All right, Ted. So for analyst Ted Woodward, I'm Jeff Dooley saying so long from West Hartford, the final score, the Hartford Hawks 70, the Stony Brook Seawolves 67. To watch this entire game on replay, as well as the other games on our family of ESPN networks, log on to WatchESPN.com or download the Watch ESPN app. This has been a presentation of ESPN.